exists to cultivate and engage students within the College of Business to become effective leaders, successful graduates, and globally competitive professionals. And we offer lots of services to College of Business students. And many of these services include career preparation, employment opportunities, mentoring, and international study abroad programs, helping students get involved and all that good stuff. And we are so excited that you all have joined us tonight. And we are so excited to partner with all of these incredible student organizations to bring such valuable opportunities to you all. And if you have any questions about anything, please feel free to reach out to us by email at businessengage at clemson.edu and we just look forward to working with all of you so thank you thanks hannah all right up next we are going to have student advisory board jack lillick all right hello everybody i'm gonna just share my screen here so just bear with me as i do that um let's see all right so, oops, <laughs> uh, just can I get confirmation that people are seeing this? We're all good to go. Oops. All right, good to go, everyone seeing it? Good, okay. Um, so, my name is Jack Lillig. I am the chair of the College of Business Student Advisory Board uh, this year. Um, so, just a quick introduction uh, to myself. Um, I'm a junior finance and accounting major, um, and I'm from the Chicago area. And like I said, I am the chair this year for the College of Business Student Advisory Board. So, I'll just get started and um, talk about a little bit about what we do. Um, so our board works with the Dean, uh, the Office of Career and Global Engagement, and other faculty of the college on projects to improve student learning and enhance the college experience. So what we are essentially is a liaison between uh, the students, uh, the faculty, and administration. Um, so some of our previous and ongoing projects include dinner with the Dean, uh, curriculum changes, internship housing grants, uh, student and faculty awards. Uh, we also fund different student initiatives, and address many other student concerns. So our board is very fluid in terms of what we do uh, year by year and semester by semester, um, but that's kind of a basic outline of, of some of our responsibilities as a board. Um, and then, so how can you get involved? Um, so I'll just kind of break this down uh, based upon our board structure. So the Student Advisory Board has two to three representatives per major. Um, so this includes all of the majors found below, as well as, you know, AFROTC, uh, Graphicom, and, and the rest of the majors that you can see there. Um, but we also have two sophomore representatives and two freshman representatives. Um, so this year we are wanting to take two freshman representatives, um, and this kind of covers the, the pre-business curriculum and, and, and that sort of thing. Um, so these applications will come out in September. Um, so I encourage you to stay posted um, on that weekly College of Business newsletter, as well as on our website, and, and that's where our application will go out. Um, and we also have a great faculty advisor, so a quick shout out to her, that's um, Dr. Helen Diamond Steele. And I know that was a really quick rundown of kind of who we are, um, who I am, and what we do. Uh, but if you have any questions, I, we might have a minute or two at the end of this, but um, feel free to contact me at any time. Um, there's my email there, and then any basic information can also be found on our website. Um, so yeah, if there's any um, questions now, I'd be glad to answer them. Otherwise, uh, just jot down my email there, and I'd be glad to answer any questions you may have. But um, excited to kick this event off, and um, excited for you, for you to learn about um, all the other great student organizations as well. So thanks. All right, next up we have Cameron. Hey everyone, my name is Cameron Blassengame. I am a senior here at uh, Clemson finance major with a minor in accounting. Um, I'm the president of Minority Business Student Association and our mission is dedicated to the professional, academic and personal needs 
of its members and the recruitment of underrepresented minorities students into the College of Business. And we strive to develop diverse business leaders and maximize their career potential. Um, this is my second year as president. Um, MBSA was started in 2017 by two um, undergraduate student, um, students here. And they realized the need for a organization that would help bring, I guess, like career potential for some of our students that are of minority descent. Um, when I joined, when I got here at Clemson, um, I did five years before, I did five years in the military. Um, I wanted to be involved on campus. And the president at that time, Antonio Harrison, reached out to me and said, hey, this is something that I think you should be a part of. This is something you um, gain a lot of knowledge from. Um, and I joined and I've had a great time since then. Um, some of the things that we do here on campus, we have um, corporate like corporate relations. So we have corporate sponsorships such as Gartner, we've had Geico, we've had like um, enterprise come in and speak to us, give us like career, de career development um, speeches. And also we've had the likes of uh, David Tan who has come in and he works as a um, graphic he has his own graphic um, communication um, business. He's come in and talked to us about your passion and making sure you're living in your purpose. Um, if you are interested in joining MBSA, uh, September 10th, we are having our Meet the Org. It will be at five o'clock and I will send that Zoom link out. Um, if you are a freshman, um, you are part of Experience Clemson, we have sent you out a newsletter and we've sent you an application to join MBSA. So if you haven't gotten that, please reach out to us on Tiger Quest through Tiger Quest. There you will see my information or my email, but also you will have MBSA's email and our faculty advisor, Dr. Delancey Bennett. His information is there as well. Um, if you have a Instagram, please look us up at Clemson MBSA. Um, you could send any of your questions there as well. So we're more than welcome to get, get you a newsletter so you can see what's going on for the semester. Um, at this point in time, I'm done talking, so I will answer any questions that you may have. If there are no questions, um, thank you for having me. I'm glad I was here to be able to talk to you and please reach out through Instagram or TigerQuest. Thank you so much. Next, we have Kelly and Madison. Hey, everyone. My name is Madison Hartsock. I'm a senior marketing major here, and I am the co-president along with Kelly Cherry for our Women in Business organization. Yes. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Kelly Cherry, um, and I'm also one of the co-presidents. Um, I'm a senior marketing major, um, and so we're here to talk about women in business. Um, our organization was started in December of 2018, and we now have over 200 members um, of all majors in the College of Business, um, from freshmen to seniors. And our intention is to bring um, women's programming to the College of Business um, through our mission of providing female undergrads with access to women business leaders and professionals, um, just to get them a better understanding and exposure to business-oriented learning and networking opportunities. Um, our focus is that when we bring these female speakers to present, that they present on um, their professional career journeys, um, any challenges they have faced in the workplace, um, the role that women play in business, professional skills, career advice, and more. So Women in Business, we're an event-based organization, which means we don't have regular meetings, but we gather for various events hosted throughout the semester. So one of our big things is flexibility. So uh, we have events that are either at lunchtime or dinner time um, and different days of the week. So that way it, it can fit in, in, into anyone's schedule. Um, and so these events consist of women speakers, professional development workshops, resume workshops, social events, and more. And like I said, typically they're in the lunchtime or evening, and we plan to have about two to three events per month. And because of COVID, all of our events will be virtual via Zoom for the safety of our speakers and our members. And for our members, um, our membership dues are $5 at the beginning of the semester via Venmo. And all of our members are required to attend at least two events per semester. And this will ensure that the events um, that we work to host are attended and the speaker's time is respected.
Um, I'm attempting to share my screen to show you the information, um, but it doesn't seem like it's working, but we can just share in the chat um, the information that we are going to show up on the screen. Um, but some tentative speakers that we have coming for this semester include um, Campbell Soup Company, the Carolina Panthers, Cisco, Dell, um, Deloitte, Gartner, Sanofi, ScanSource, T-Mobile, um, ZWO, and more. And we're also planning on having um, some sort of social event, um, however we can do that permitting COVID. Um, but we are really excited about the semester. We have a newsletter that goes out to all of our members, um, telling them about the uh, schedule of events for that month. We have a bio and um, a headshot of the speaker and the topic they will be speaking on. Um, and then also included, we have uh, any job opportunities that are given to our organization so that our members are aware of um, those opportunities. And we can put the sign up form link in the chat also for you guys to sign up. We also have an Instagram for any updates about meetings or events that we're having. And that our Instagram handle is WIB underscore Clemson. And also, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me or Kelly directly, or you can also email Clemson um, WB, WIB at gmail.com. So thank you guys and reach out to us if you have any questions or comments on any ideas for events throughout the semester. Thank you. Thank you so much. Up next, we had Clemson Analytics. However, they are running late. Um, Amanda and Sean, can you proceed? Yeah, definitely. Um, Sean, you want to go ahead and pull up the slideshow? Yes, I can. Give me one second. Here we are. All right, so hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, today, me and Amanda here will be representing Delta Sigma Pi, the professional business fraternity here on campus at Clemson University. So what is our purpose? So um, Delta Sigma Pi is actually a huge professional business fraternity organized at different universities across the country. We're here to foster leadership, uh, business and professional development, as, long as, uh, as well as community service events and social events at our chapter here at Clemson. Um, so these are kind of the main things that we really value, um, professional development, service, scholarship, and diversity and ethics. So what we have to offer for professional development is that we'll have speakers coming in throughout the year to uh, experts in different majors and fields and we'll be bringing them in uh, virtually this semester to speak to our members about potential job opportunities and professional development seminars. We also have community service events that feature uh, different events around the Clemson community in order to give back to the people that have given so much to us. Yeah, um, and then we also focus on diversity and ethics. So we really like to view things from a wide range of perspectives because that really makes better leaders. Um, and then in business, it's always important to be ethical. So we definitely place a strong focus on those two things. Um, and then we also focus on scholarship. We want everyone in our fraternity to succeed academically. Um, so we always promote scholarship. And then our social events, as I touched on earlier. So we, we pride ourselves in hosting many social events in order to foster brotherhood in our chapter. Our chapter is co-ed, meaning we have girls and guys in our uh, fraternity here. Um, some of our social events include formal mountain, week and mountain weekend and beach weekend. We have about over 100 members, so we like to continually host social events so that everyone can feel welcomed and encourage brotherhood in our chapter. And uh, I'll just touch on the recruitment dates. So my name is Sean Larkin. I'm the senior vice president this semester, which means I'm in charge of recruitment. Um, these are some of the dates and ways that you can get involved uh, with us. We start our first event, which is our drop-in, just to kind of get to know our chapter on September 28th, which is a Monday. And hopefully um, we could do something in person, but I think everything is going to be online this semester. So we'll be providing links and other ways so that you can make sure to get in touch with us. And uh, just some final touches, 
our chapter is uh, so wide and has touches so many different fields in business here at Clemson. And just by joining our organization, you'll find yourself being able to get involved in many other things, not just our chapter. So we hope that uh, any of you will be interested in considering Delta Sigma Pi for your future. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to email svp.kt uh, at uh, gmail.com for more information. Yep, and that's all we Wonderful, thank you. Segan, you are up next. Um, hello everyone, I'm Sagan. Um, I am the president of the Business Analytics Club. And um, this club is actually actually relatively new. Um, it started, I think, almost two years ago, um, right after we added the emphasis area of business analytics and management. And so um, right now, I've already sent out some interest forms to students. Currently, we have about 35 active members in TigerQuest and some more that have to accept the invitation. But um, I'm really excited for this year because I already have a couple organizations um, we're already trying to collaborate with. Um, we hold different events such as uh, workshops with Tableau, um, which is one of the um, business analytics uh, software tools. Um, and then you can have, we can have some interview workshops or resume workshops, um, just really collaborating with um, people from companies that have real world experience in business analytics. Um, actually tomorrow I have a meeting with one of the VPs of, uh, of business analytics um, in a company that is centered in Greenville. So that's pretty cool. Um, and so, yeah, this uh, QR code, it just leads you to an interest form um, that just gives me your name, your email, and so I can just contact you and add you um, to TigerQuest in case you are interested in becoming a member. And so, yeah, any questions, you can just email me. My email is right there, tkutino at g.clemson.edu. And for any questions or concerns. Thank you. Great, thank you. Um, because we are running early right now at this time, does anyone have any questions um, for any of the panelists that have gone so far? If so, there is a Q&A box right at the bottom of your screen. If you please click on that and type any questions you have there, we will get your answers. All right, without any questions, Jeffrey, are you ready to go? All right, yes, ma'am, thank you. All right, uh, welcome everyone. Thanks for being here. I'm gonna try to keep this brief. Um, so my name is Jeffrey Baker and I'm the president of Beta Alpha Psi. Um, you, can, you can read at the top of the screen with me. Uh, our, our vision is that Beta Alpha Psi will shape financial and business information professions by developing members into ethical, professional, and confident leaders. Um, so what we are is I'll read our, I'll discuss some of our uh, requirements on the next slide. But so some of the things that we do with Beta Alpha Psi are community service and professional development. Um, one of the community service events that a lot of members have been a part of is Habitat for Humanity. And um, this year, like a lot of clubs and organizations, we plan to go virtual for the whole year. But uh, when we weren't virtual, we did Habitat or work closely with Habitat for Humanity. And um, on the week of homecoming, we uh, built a house on Bowman Field. And that's very cool to be a part of. And we also work at a resale store. <clears throat> Uh, which is just kind of helping like move things like furniture and equipment around uh, and, and help selling it and, and helping people that are uh, just shopping at the store. 
Uh, typically with the organization, we meet twice a month and we meet with firms. And I'm sure in your accounting and financial courses, you'll hear a lot of, of different uh, companies and firms that you may have to work with. Um, after you graduate and before I before I joined uh, Beta Alpha Psi, I would hear a lot of my professors talk about like the big four or so, uh, just certain firms I never even knew what they were but a lot a lot of them come out and actually speak to us and give us some advice but um, Deloitte, PwC, Bank of America, Cherry Becker, uh, those are a lot of the firms that come out and talk to us. For professional development uh, we do things like business etiquette training which is very cool to be a part of if you've never actually been trained in business etiquette. Um, every year we go to regional and national conferences which are all over all over the country and the east coast mainly. This year we're doing some virtual projects for community service uh, the, which one we're doing this year is junior achievement and basically what it is is just uh, we're doing kindergarten through eighth grade and we teach younger kids things that they may not be taught in normal classes like uh, paying their taxes or just simply the value of a dollar. So beta offsite is invitation only and we send out in invitations at the beginning of each semester. We have around 50 to 60 members. Uh, to be in our organization, you do have to be a declared accounting or financial management major. You have to have a cumulative GPA of a 3.0 and you have, a, have to have a 3.2 GPA after completing um, intermediate one, which is that's a accounting 3100. So typically people are invited um, around later in their sophomore year or the first semester of their junior year. And then you can contact me personally. Um, that's my email address or you can also email me through TigerQuest. Uh, any questions? Kyle, can you share the um, social media handles with them? Um, I don't have them all right away. The, I see I've... So we have an Instagram. I'm Dr. Davis Culler. I'm the um, faculty advisor for the organization. Our Instagram handler is um, um, Clemson Beta Alpha Psi, Clemson BAP. And so you can follow us that way. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, Carice, are you ready? Yes, I am. Hello, everyone. My name is Carice Brown, and I am representing the College of Business Recruiting Ambassadors, or COBRAs, which you might hear be called, um, and I am the Vice President of this organization. Um, what we do is that we put together info sessions for prospective students and their families, um, as well as one-on-ones, um, with, of course, us having to go virtual for this semester, but hoping to return to some kind of normalcy um, in the spring. As you see on the screen, um, our president is Jessica Cole. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to either one of us. We'll be happy to answer those. Um, you can check out our website, which has our current ambassadors on there. And our application does not open up until Monday, September 7th. Um, but you can go ahead and scan the QR code and leave that tab open and refresh once the seven comes up. And we are hoping that we can, well, the, our um, application will be in the um, newsletter next week. So that they'll be in there once you read that. But um, yeah, that'll be it. Um, is there any questions? All right, we are running very early tonight. Um, I have a question for you. Yes. What is the largest tour group that you guys do? And what has been your experience so far? Um, good or bad? What are the things that you want to really see in the upcoming year for tour groups and for hosts in general? 
So our largest, um, if you have, if you've been in Serene, we thought I had a class for, I can't remember the actual number of it, but we did have about a classroom full of students as well as their families in a room. I think it was probably about 30 or so students in there. Um, and in terms of my experience, I, I just had my first year of it, so my first semester back in the spring. And um, it was a really great experience, very different experience. Um, and I enjoy talking to students as well as their families um, with experience in being an orientation ambassador the, the summer before that. Um, and in terms of what we hope to grow in um, is like that connection, like that everlasting connection with the students in the future, um, as well as, you know, gaining that, um, especially with us having to go virtual for this semester. Awesome, thanks for that. Um, Jason, are you ready for your presentation? Yeah, thanks actually, uh, Mariah's, Mariah's gonna share her screen. I think she's on here. Yes, I am. It's over in the right, on the right corner. It says present, uh, like right beside the share button. There you go. You're muted, Mariah. Well, uh, hey guys, this is the uh, Clemson Financial Planning Association. Uh, we're kind of uh, rebooting everything this semester. Um, so Mariah and myself and one other guy are kind of like co-presidents this year. Uh, basically what we do is we're designed for those that are interested in financial planning and the finance majors. Um, any of the emphasis areas are welcome to join. Uh, we will have monthly meetings. Uh, this semester we are gonna do them virtually. But those do uh, they do include profession networking, guest speakers, and advanced training pertaining to career in finance. Um, we usually have Vanguard come in. I believe they'll be one of the first people to come in. We usually have Dalton or Kaplan that comes, and usually they give away um, a pretty big amount of money off of their CFP certification classes and exams. So uh, definitely something you might want to um, come to, and then Mariah's going to speak about our meetings and when we meet. So we meet... Um usually once a month. However, after our welcome night, we'll be meeting twice in September. So our first meeting will be September 7th from six to seven via Zoom. And then we have Vanguard coming in on September 14th from six to seven. And then for the rest of the semester, we'll just have one meeting a month with different firms and opportunities like Jason mentioned, uh, Dalton, things like that. If you all have any questions, you can contact either me, Jason, or Brooks at any of our emails that are listed. Or if you have any questions about just the organization as a whole, you can contact uh, Josh Harris. And then um, any questions, yeah, just email us or send them in the chat and we'll try to uh, reply back to your email quickly or reply in the chat. Can you um, unshare your screen, please? Thank you. All right, up next, Alyssa. All right, would y'all like me to share my screen? Is it? Okay. Um, I'm Allie Maurer, and I am president of Gamma Epsilon Tau. It is the... Um, Hold on, sorry y'all. I'm trying to share the screen I have, but. Okay, there we go. Oh. 
I apologize. Okay, so Gamma Epsilon Tau is the honorary service organization for graphic communications students. Chapter is the 14th chapter of its kind on college campuses around the country. This chapter is special because we not only are a part of the Clemson family, but we are a family. In graphic communications, we like to consider ourselves a family. This organization introduces students to professors, service opportunities, and other networking events. Along with growing professionally, GIT allows you to grow in friendship with your classmates. Throughout the semester, we host different events, including game nights and craft nights. We also help serve out our local community through proceeds nights and our GC community by helping with events that the Clemson Graphic Communications Department puts together. Overall, GIT is a great organization to grow professionally in our major. We are an organization only open to graphic communication majors though. However, this club is a great opportunity to start getting involved. We meet once a month and most other events are not mandatory, but I do say that you get what you put in with graphic. Communications have also please follow us on Instagram at Clemson get to keep up to date with our interest meeting that we'll be announcing within the next month. Great, thanks Alyssa. Up next Thank you. we have Lane, Courtney, and Sarah. Hi, here I'll just share my screen really quick here. All right. Can you also see it? It looks like it's split in half. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So I'll just leave it as this. So um, my name is Lane Tillman and I am the president of SHRM. So, and I'm joined here by Courtney Shiro as well, who's our VP. So SHRM stands for the Society of Human Resource Management. And it's a place where um, students who are interested in furthering their career in HR can meet and hear from other HR professionals. Um, this club is open to anyone who wants to join and everyone can learn about the powerful impact that HR has on a company, and especially as we're seeing in 2020. So we recently received our third consecutive Superior Merit Award by SHRM Official. And along with that, we became uh, SHRM aligned. So what this means is if you're a senior who's completed 500 hours of HR work, whether this is like a CI, internship, part-time work, anything along those lines, um, you can qualify for the SHRM CP exam. And this certification you can put at the end of your name and it's recognized internationally. Um, we have bi-weekly meetings where we bring in speakers to hear more about their careers in HR and an opportunity for members to network and grow more and kind of see what field and industry they wanna go into. And then the spring, we also have a job shadowing day so where members get to go into an industry as well and see kind of how HR works day to day and company culture and learn more from beyond the classroom into a real work environment setting. So here I have our Instagram and then our LinkedIn as well if you wanna join that and then email uh, sherm at clemson.edu with any additional questions. Thank you, Lane. Um, Jack and Kelly, you are up with iLead. Great, I thought I saw um, Charlene in here as well, so I didn't know if she wanted to kick things off. Otherwise, um, Kelly and I would be glad to kind of give a brief overview, but I just wanted to open up that opportunity because I saw she was in here. Hi, thank you, Jack. Um, <laughs> you and Kelly go right ahead. 
I have full trust that y'all will do it justice. Okay, sounds good. Um, so yeah, if you just joined um, recently, um, I know Kelly and I uh, already presented on different organizations, but um, just to quickly introduce myself again, my name is Jack Billig. I'm a junior finance and accounting major. Uh, from the Chicago area. And then Kelly, if you want to introduce yourself again. Um, my name is Kelly Cherry. I'm a senior marketing major from Philadelphia. Great. Um, so just a quick introduction. Um, ILEAD stands for Integrated Leadership Education and Development. Um, the program is a multi-year program, um, kind of designed as a certification initiative um, to provide students with kind of a structured, um, kind of project-based way to uh, learn about leadership. So this program is kind of broken down into three different learning processes um, comprised of 20 different elements. So these different processes are knowledge acquisition, uh, application of skills, and experiences. So experiences are centered around the leadership development of the student. Um, students traditionally join their sophomore year, but I believe um, we are might be opening that up to freshmen this year. Uh, Charlene can correct me if I'm incorrect there. Um, but yeah, no, it's a great way to kind of um, develop as a leader um, and as a student across um, two or three years. Um, and uh, Kelly, you can feel free to um, add anything sure. on to that. Um, sure, I'll just talk about, so there's different elements to the program like Jack mentioned. So the um, knowledge part, the leadership through knowledge, um, we have leadership workshops, um, leadership theory, we talk about ethics and insight into um, different practices in the workplace. Um, and then leadership through application um, is where we'll do um, team uh, group um, different workshops, we'll do self-assessment activities, learn about our leadership style, um, and all of this is through the organization with um, the other members. And then the last part is leadership through experiences. So this would be doing community service, um, participating in an organization, studying abroad, any kind of opportunity that kind of broadens your horizon. Um, and like Jack said, uh, you can apply uh, during your freshman year and you just submit your resume and complete a written application. Um, I can put in the chat the uh, website which has all that information and the downloadable application. But um, as a senior member, I just wanted to say one of my favorite um, parts of this organization was that as a junior, you're able to do a case study where you partner with an organization. So last year, our organization was ScanSource in Greenville. And um, we were partnered with somebody in our um, industry of interest. So I was partnered with somebody in the marketing department. And we had to write, we were given a case and we kind of had to figure out how we wanted to work it out. We wrote a paper about it and then you are able to have the opportunity to present and eventually either win money um, by being in the top five or getting an internship through this opportunity. So it's a really, really great um, organization to be a part of and I would definitely recommend for freshmen to join. Yeah, and I'll just add uh, one quick thing to the end of that. Um, ILEAD does qualify as a creative inquiry um, so this is a great way to receive uh, one credit hour per semester. Um, so I think it's a, a great gen ed replacement um, and you can have uh, some great experiential uh, learning experiences um, in, in leadership. So I think that's also a great pro um, to this organization. So yeah, um, we can drop the website in the chat. And, I'll do that now. And yeah, let us know if you have any other questions. Great, thanks guys. Um, next up is Charlene with Thomas Chapman. Hi everyone. My name is Charlene Fitzgerald and I am the Student Services Program Coordinator for the Department of Marketing. And I am also the assistant to the Leadership Programs in the College of Business. I lead that you just heard about. Uh, thank you, Jack and Kelly. That was a great job. And um, the other one is the Thomas F. Chapman Leadership Scholars Program. 
And I had Jason Westmoreland, who you heard from earlier as well, um, that's going to talk a little bit about it. Is, and um, so if you need any further information about either one of these programs, my email is cdtimme at clemson.edu. And I am more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Uh, Jason, you want to talk a little bit about the Chapman program for us? Yeah, sure. Uh, hey guys, I was on earlier. Um, I'm Jason. I'm a finance major. I'm a junior. Uh, it's a great program. Um, my internet froze for a second there, so I'm not sure if I'm repeating, but uh, you apply during your spring semester freshman year. Um, it's pretty intensive, so it's really good experience. Um, I'd encourage everyone to even go out for it, whether you think you're going to get it or not. Um, it's a written application as well as an interview in front of uh, a few of the teachers that are uh, in the program as well as some other um, people that are very uh, involved with the program. Um, it's three years long. It's a lot of leadership, um, really great time. You get to meet a lot of cool people. Um, I think one unique aspect about it is you're in small classes of, I believe it's 14. So you get to know your classmates really well. And then um, I mean, this semester is really cool because we're on uh, Zooms with the whole program. So we get kind of interaction with all three classes rather than just our own class. But you really get to know everybody. You get to know your teacher really well. You're with, um, there's three different teachers, so you're with them for one year. Um, we usually, last year we were able to do Christmas for kids. We had a big uh, Christmas present drive, then hosted uh, underprivileged kids from the community uh, in the gym over in Fike. And we had a great time playing games with them and letting them open presents. Um, so the Chapmans, uh, the couple that has um, funded this and began the program is really into uh, community service, learning how to be leaders, um, kind of goes off of the uh, Wizard of Oz program that he does, um, courage, commitment, leadership, um, and honesty, things of that nature. So it's a really good experience. Um, definitely encourage you to uh, apply for it. Great. Thank you, Jason. Yes, um, and with the Chapman program last fall, it went university wide. So we actually select eight students from the College of Business and then one student from every other college on campus for the total of 14 that Jason mentioned earlier. Applications for this will be later this semester. Uh, they will be available and you will hear more about this in your Business 1010 classes. But again, if you have any questions or need anything further, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you so much, Allie. Thanks, Charlene and Jason. Up next, we have Lizzie. Awesome, hi y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen really quickly. Um, Sorry about that, pulling this up now. So hi y'all, my name's Lizzie Kennedy and I am with the Sales Innovation Program here at Clemson. Um, I'm here to talk to y'all about Sales Club as well as the Sales Innovation Program. Sales is definitely a potential career opportunity for all Clemson students, especially College of Business students. Um, it has been where I have found my home here at Clemson and it's all about connecting and building relationships with your clients. So if that seems like something you'd be interested in and you're someone who doesn't really know what they wanna do with their life one day, then definitely check out Sales Club because it is a great funnel into joining our sales innovation program, which will give you the opportunity to graduate with a sales emphasis. So that being said, I'm going to make it short and sweet for y'all. But right up here, I have um, kind of three important links to check out. First off is our LinkedIn profile. If you go ahead and connect with us and like us on LinkedIn, that'll be good because it'll show your initial interest in sales. Secondly, here on our Instagram, I have our Instagram it is SIP Clemson, so super simple. Go ahead and type that in and give it a follow if you're interested. We keep everything up to date with our meetings and so forth there. And then lastly, if you have questions, you can reach out after I'm done talking right now or email us at salesclub at clemson.edu. I really will say if you don't know what you want to do with your life, um, and you're someone that loves to engage and loves to talk to people and so forth. Sales is honestly a great career to potentially explore. And Sales Club is all about helping you professionally develop yourself while also figuring out if sales and that career is an option for you. Um, we have so many company partners and so forth that give you the awesome opportunity to network. I got my internship this summer through the Sales Club. So that being said, if y'all don't have any questions for me, that's everything.
Thank y'all so much for joining in tonight. We hope that you have learned a lot about all these awesome student organizations and we are just so happy that you all joined us tonight and please feel free to email any of the people who presented tonight or the Career and Global Engagement Office. Again, our email is businessengage at clemson.edu if you have any questions and I hope you all have a great rest of your evening and thank you again for joining.